Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Riven, the sequel to Mist. This is generally considered the best game in the series by many, and it is pretty good, and probably one of the big one of the bigger influences on me, because well, I read the story in the hint book so many times, I still have the hint book. Even though I had trouble getting, or would have had some trouble getting through some of the uh, puzzles when I first made it, I still played it a fair bit. It's, it is a good game, and it'll be good to be able to show it off to other people. I only wish I could figure the things out on my own, but... Eh. Oh, thing I didn't mention back in the, uh, mi back in the Mist review was, uh, the reason I kind of started doing this around now was... Mist actually just turned 25. Uh, about a month ago? Two months ago? Something like that. Riven just turned 20 last year. Yeah, these games are old. I was 10 when Riven came out. 5 when Mist came out. So yeah, it's, <laughs> it did influence me a lot. Anyway... Well, I was considering just going on to uh, a camera and actually showing off the hint book that I have and everything in it. Eh, I just went through editing my miss my missed video and uh, I kind of already spoke about it a bit there. So there's not much more I have to say. But anyway, I'll try and go through... Even though, I, I will say this, Riven is... Unlike Mist, where it's very clearly go to this area, this area, this area, this area, get these things, Riven is a lot more open-ended. You can go in numerous different directions. You can skip you can skip parts if you know how to. It's a lot more freeform and a lot more open to roaming. I'm going to try and go through it in a way similar to the book, because that se that always seems to be the right way to do it. I will probably mention other things that I can note as I go through them and speak of things as I go. Well, and I won't be spoiling things, but uh, anyway, I suppose with little other choice, let us begin. I did not know this game was Ubisoft. you'll discover I can't send you to Riven with a way out but I can give you this it appears to be a linking book back here to Dunny but it's actually a one-man prison you'll need it I'm afraid to capture Gan Once you found Catherine, signal me, and I'll come with a linking book to bring us back.
there's also a chance, if this all goes well, that I might be able to get you back to the place that you came from. Things were not going as Atris had planned. Well, we're here, <laughs> and a lot of things just happened. Riven, uh, sorry, Atris sent us to this age, Riven. Our goal? Find and trap his, find and trap a person named Gen in a trap book we were given. A trap book, if you remember, just like his sons, Sirius and Akinar, were trapped in. The only difference is this one happens to look like it's just a linking book. We also have to find Catherine, who is his wife, and then signal him, somehow. And when we arrived, we got trapped. Then, a go then someone who is here, on Riven, showing that Riven is actually inhabited, unlike the other Ages of Mist, which were inhabited, tried to speak with us in some other language, and then took one of our books. Specifically, the li the trap book. So we now no longer have it. And then he got shot by a dart, and either killed or knocked unconscious by someone else, disguised wearing red and black, who then took the book, freed us, and ran off. And now they're gone. They, uh, this is no longer going to be able to move, and, well, there's a dagger of some sort left there that they knocked in there, probably in order to jam it open so that nobody's going to be able to be trapped in here again. And there appears to be a giant dagger shoved right into the ground over here. There are many questions we have here. Well... It is nice and sunny here. We do still have one thing that we can look at. 
Yes, we have an inventory here. Instead of holding a page in our hand all the time, we can actually hold a few books or items down here. And we still have the this book, which is a journal that was given to us by Atris. He said most of the things we need to know are in here. So let's give it a read and see what it has to tell us. They held for more than thirty years, but the corrections I made to Riven have finally failed. The island has resumed the familiar pattern of decay that is the hallmark of my father's work. I must now race to implement this new patch before it's too late. I only hope that my revised theories are sound. Revisions to Riven completed. There are still a number of minor adjustments which need to be made, but the basic corrections have been entered and should be working. Something's not right. I've been monitoring the instruments for several hours now, but have thus far observed no change. It's possible that I've made an error, though I've checked my entry against my prenotation and can find no discrepancy. I've not had a rest in nearly three days, so it may be that I'm just not seeing it. If the fault is with my foundational assumptions, however, perhaps after a short rest I will see something. Success! It appears that my repairs have been effective after all. The gateway image has become noticeably clearer, and although it is impossible to know this with absolute certainty, the island seems to have quieted itself. Just a few more weeks of work and I should be free at last to go there myself and attempt to bring Catherine back. The past eight months have left me little time to think, to devise a strategy for getting her out of there. I have received no sign from her in all that time. I am afraid that... No, I must assume that she is all right, lest my fears undermine my efforts to bring her back. I did not create the Age of Riven. Unlike my father, I have never presumed to have such power. And yet the future of all those who live there has fallen into my hands. So far, I have managed to read the page before it turns. The island continues to appear stable, and I would like to believe that I have saved a dying world. But the theories of one individual cannot support the lives of real people indefinitely. I must get everyone off of Riven as soon as possible. The problem now is Gen. I'll never be able to rescue Catherine and relocate the islanders if he is still the man he once was. I haven't seen him in over thirty years, but his history forces me to assume that he is still a threat. His myopic mission to restore the Dunny civilization has left too many innocent cultures dying in its wake, and would continue to do so were he to once again be free of the confines of Riven, or the Fifth Age as he, tit as he coldly titled, titled it. The universe has been safe from his corruptive influence for the last thirty-three years because no one has been able to leave that age, the last linking book out of Riven having been lost in the starfisher upon my return to Mist. That was my intention, to maroon my father on Riven by removing all the existing links to other worlds, and since the art of constructing books has long been lost with the fall of the Dunny, he would be trapped there for the remainder of his lifetime, and effectively segregated from the countless other worlds that he would have invaded. In effect, that is what we achieved, but the way it fell, however, was no one's ideal. Through the sting of the inc though the sting of the incident has gradually faded from my memory, the deep pain of the responsibility for what actually came to be has never left me. At the time, it seemed so clear. Gen's destructive path could not be allowed to continue. But it was never my choice that the innocent inhabitants of Riven, who had already suffered so much, would be the ones to pay for it. <sighs> Enough. To dwell in the past is to die in the present. The situation is not the same as it was then. The knowledge I've acquired in the years since that time has yet to be applied to this problem. I think I have the solution. Why did it not occur to me sooner? I do not know, though the idea of it had been pushed out, of, out with the thought of my sons. A prison book. Many years ago, during a hunting expedition through the ruins of Dunny, I chanced upon a formula for a most unusual type of book. Unfortunately, due to the fact that my father was then in the habit of confiscating my discoveries, I was forced to leave it behind. Years later, however, as part of my efforts to protect the vulnerable worlds linked to the books in my library, I was pleased to find that I could still recall most of the formula, and with little experimentation quickly succeeded in creating one of these devices myself. The procedure is actually quite simple. By altering key lines of text but slightly, a normal linking book's connection can be partially severed, such that anyone who attempts to, link, to use the book will be permanently trapped in the dark void of the link. That is, unless someone else then uses the book, at which point that person would become trapped, and the first person displaced back into the world. 
The technique can be applied to books that have already been written, changes to the original text being so slight that anyone who is unfamiliar with the code will be unable to detect them. If indeed my father has not changed, what better bait could there be than a book that appeared to be a link back here to Dunny? Trouble. My nightly analysis of the island's condition has revealed that the tremors had begun again. The pattern, however, is new. The disturbances are the result of the changes I have made. This did not at first concern me. However, tremors, tremors of this type were one of the possible side effects that I had anticipated during this initial phase of the island's readjustment. Still, in order to verify my assumptions, I decided to calculate again, incorporating the new data. The results were not what I expected. The damage to the understructure is more extensive than I'd realized. I can no longer go to Riven as planned. Catherine, forgive me. I must act while I still have the time. The signs are barely visible, but there's no question that the island's deterioration is accelerating. Total collapse is imminent unless I can keep ahead, and that is becoming increasingly difficult to do. With every passing moment I gain a clearer picture of the incredible chaos that my father's economy of worlds has, words has yielded, but it is a dismaying process. The complexity of the problem is overwhelming. There's no end to this. The last few days have all that but convinced me that the collapse of Riven is inevitable, and that, at best, I can only strive to delay it now, and hope that at some point the island will become stable enough to risk a rescue attempt. I think I've come up with a way to subdue the tremors. It will require my exclusive attempt attention for at least a month or two, so it may be necessary to discontinue these journal entries for a while. Something truly miraculous has happened. Beyond all conceivable probability, someone has finally found my lost linking, missed linking book and has freed me from this prison. I immediately realize that this could be the solution to my dilemma, and I believe my mysterious benefactor is willing to assist me. I'm still not sure it can work. The logistics of such a scheme are formidable, but the mere fact that it may now be possible for me to continue my repairs to Riven, and yet proceed with my original intent to find Catherine has given me renewed hope. The last few days have left me little time to work out the remaining problems with sending someone else to Riven. It did occur to me, however, that if a way could be found to signal me once Gen had been captured, it would no longer be necessary to take a real linking book to Riven and risk the possibility of inadvertently releasing Gen. The deteriorated state of the gateway image makes the use of a visual signal impossible, but the picture remains a reliable indicator of Riven's condition nonetheless. By measuring and interpreting variations in the noise patterns, I am still able to do, uh, observe basic changes that, observe in, that occur in the age, even though I cannot see them. The problem is that my instruments can only detect changes that occur on a fundamental level, and it seems unlikely that an individual could affect such an elementary change from within an age. The idea may still be foolish. Still, there is a known weakness that may be worth investigating, an anomaly that appears as a rift between two separate systems the starfisher. But how, or even if, this fact could be exploited, I cannot say. Sending someone to Riven also means that once I receive the signal that they were ready to return, I would have to leave my writing in order to take a real linking book there myself. However, provided my father was safely out of the way, this should take very little time. After that, assuming the island does not incur much damage in my absence, it should then be a relatively simple matter to hold it together long enough for Catherine to return to Riven and evacuate the remaining islanders. Predetermining a signal without knowing the topography of the island may prove to be impossible, but I'm afraid there can be only one answer to the question of whether or not I should send my friend to Riven with a way out. The potential for failure will be greatly diminished if the prison book is all that is taken there. I'm sure my father is expecting me to bring a linking book to Riven. May he not be disappointed. Okay. So what did we get out of that? Well, what we got out of that is Riven is an age that is very unstable and deteriorating as we speak. Atris is the only one holding it together. And the people inside are, well, they're kind of stuck here. They can't really do anything. They can't get out. And his father, Gen, who created the age and left it unstable, he also can't get out. So, what we need to do, our goal is the same. We need to find the trap book and get it back. Then we need to bring it to Gen, find a way to get him to use it to trap himself. 
find Atrus's wife, Catherine, free her if she is trapped, and then signal him somehow. The only hint we have of how to signal him is something called the Star Fisher. No idea where it is, or what it, or even what it is, except that it's some kind of anomaly, it said. Uh, an anomaly that appears as a rift between two separate systems. It's the only hint we have. Outside of that, that's entirely our goal. As is, the place doesn't look unstable. We have, we're on an island, we've got clear blue skies with some clouds. It's not tremoring, there's no problems here. But there is one thing. Remember, all the islands of mist were all a single island in an endless ocean. Well, except for, uh... The Selenetic Age, which was kind of in a desert, but it did cur but it did slowly become ocean again. There's another island over there. This is at least two islands. And there's these tracks going between them, it looks like. Probably ways to get to that other island. So that raises more questions. How unstable is it? Well, we'll find out soon enough. I can look at a few things here in the area we arrived in. There's not much. There's this thing here. Some kind of hatch with a bunch of buttons locked. No way we can get it, get into it and see what's down there. This. Well, we can't see anything through here. Most likely it's some sort of telescope or microscope or something meant to look at whatever's on the other side of that hatch. Doesn't seem to be working, though. If it works on the same kind of steam as everything else, well, that's probably where it's coming from. And there's some sort of cleft here that we can't look at. And here... Well, there's where we arrived, which entrapped us as soon as we arrived. Clearly, whoever tried to trap us here knew someone would come and wanted to keep them trapped. And we have this dagger. This enormous dagger. How it got here? I have no idea. It must have been built here on its own somehow, but the only thing to note is that it looks very similar to the dagger here, used by that strange person who killed the guard, or maybe not killed, because he's right there. Unless he is dead. Yeah, hard to tell. Either way, that is kind of basically what we know and where we are. And I just noticed there's another island over there. That's three islands. And that's a big structure. There is much we need to learn and discover here on the island of Riven, in the Age of Riven. Yes, yeah, the Age of Riven, that would be more accurate. So, we're going to start exploring this island and see what we can find in the next episode. Till then, I'm Chester44, this has been a Let's Play of Riven, and I shall see you all next time.